how to connect a hosting or domain with shopify hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can connect your hosting or domain in shopify so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you want to do is you want to come over here onto hostinger and you want to create an account and you want to go ahead and buy one of the domains so over here go ahead and click on login and then click on sign up over here so register yourself right here i have already registered my account so i'm going to go ahead and log in with my google account and once you've done that it's going to take you over here and here you will see i already have a domain but if you don't have a domain go ahead and click on domains it'll ask you to go ahead and buy a domain click on get a new domain and just enter in the price or enter in the name of the domain that you want and down below you can see the price so dot com domain starts at 499 nets are 1199 io is 31 org is 799 online is 199 and dot shop is 99 so go ahead and select go ahead and search for a domain i already have one uh it's right here you can see in the domain portfolio this is the domain that i want and you can see the different pricings as well so if i were to get a new domain let's say i wanted this domain right here ad astra it would be quite expensive since it is a pretty simple name nothing too crazy adastra.com is already registered you can see right here but the ai generated version the adastraverse.com that is available on a two-year term if you click on more option you can see ad astra apps.studio ad astra adventures.org other ones are available and you can see right here ad slash astra.finance is also available as well these are popular ones you can go ahead and select all and you'll find all the domains that are available in different categories right here and you can see they all range from different prices as well so once you've bought a domain or once you've recognized that okay this is the domain that i want click on buy domain and then select the plan and then add in your credit card details and then just simply go ahead and buy it so once you've bought it it'll ask you to go ahead and register it to your name which i've already done it'll just simply ask you for your address and your phone number and that's it everything else won't matter and you will have a domain right here status is active expiration date over here and you can see auto renewal is on so we can just keep that disable it you know auto renewal is on and you can see auto renewal is off i just turned it off so it's fine so now all that's left for us to do is to go ahead and get started so Come over here onto Shopify and sign up onto their account. This is important because here you will also need to get at least a paid plan. All right. If you go with a free plan, it won't work, right? You can, but it won't work. It won't allow you to. So go ahead and sign up and get started with your plan. It's only $1 per month for the first three months. So it's fine. So I already have that account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, when you first log in into your Shopify store, you're going to go ahead and do a bunch of stuff. You're going to go ahead and add some of your products, design some of the websites, you know, get started with it, complete the guide and you should be good to go. Right. So here you can see uh, I have done a couple of these tasks over here and we should be good to go. And here you can go ahead and add your domain. It will immediately ask you to add it over here. If this option is not available over here, go into the settings over here come down over here click on domains and here you can connect to an existing domain right here so you can see this is the free domain that they give you but you can go ahead and click on connect to an existing domain and add the domain name over here which right here it is available and we're going to go ahead and copy that domain name paste it right here click on next it's going to go ahead and tell us to go ahead and log in to our provider and step number two is to update the dns records right you can see right here so come back over here this is the domain name if you click on the manage button uh here it's going to take you to this section where you can go ahead and add the dns servers and everything and you can even go ahead and create your website by getting the hosting as well but yeah here you can see the dns servers click on edit and here you can add a bunch of DNS records as well. So you can see we have so many, a lot of DNS records. So you can go ahead and connect some of them. If you want, you can even go ahead and delete them. These are all important ones. So here you can go ahead and add the DNS record. So here you can see, uh, open the DNS settings, update your current values and add one of the values to match the new values. Use the default TTL providers right here. So we're going to use these ones. So type A, all right. 
type a do we have an a run we do have one we can go ahead and click on edit right so again a name is going to be at ttl is 60 and current value is this so let's go ahead and copy the new value and place it right here ttl is 60 type is a name is at and everything looks good click on update there we go next is going to be c name ww so we're going to go ahead and do that here it is uh or what we can do is we can go ahead and create a new one right so again go ahead and click on c name uh name is going to be ww w 60 minutes and this is the current value right here copy that paste that here ttl is going to be 60 minutes add that over there click on add records and once you've added them click on i have updated it it'll automatically detect it and you can see right here it is now connected and we should be good to go so here you go you can see the domain name and we also added the other one as well and we should be good to go so now we go back you can see ssl is still pending but that's fine uh here we have everything so now if we go back into our shopify store and open the website you can see right here the domain name is actually changed over here so pretty cool right so now we can go ahead and design our website and we should be good to go so we are almost done and we just need to review the rates of our shipping and our website should be completed so there you have it after that you should be good to go your website should be ready you've uploaded the domain name and now we are good to go now again just to clarify just to give a little recap make sure to go into your domain section into the hostinger get a new domain buy it register it once you've registered it go into your shopify store sign in login whatever you want to do go into settings you will need to go ahead and buy the plan of course go into settings click on the domain section over here you will find right here this is how it looks like go ahead and click on connect to an existing domain if you already have one uh, if you click on connect to an existing domain again just add the domain name over here then it's going to tell you to go ahead and add the dns record so again go back onto hostinger go into dns records right you can find that option right here go into your dns click on manage click on dns and it'll arrive over here you'll need to add two domain types or dns records there's the c name all right its name is going to be www priority you can set it zero and then content is going to be dot shops dot my shopify dot com and then ttl is going to be 60. that's one of the domains that you have to add the second one is going to be this one a at zero priority and this little uh section right here the uh, contents shopify will provide you with that you just add it and then again 60 and then you just simply come over here and click on verify i've added it and you should be good to go it's all there uh ssl is still pending but that's fine because uh we didn't have the ssl on the domain right here but that's fine so everything looks good you can delete the domain over here and add a new one it totally depends on you but yeah uh all done right here you can see at the top mamma mia pizzeria dot shop domain is working everything is good so this is how you do it this is how you can connect a hostinger domain onto your shopify store so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you for watching until next time take care and goodbye